like a bell cut. Hello and welcome back to the channel where once again we are taking a look at some CEX roulette games that I've recently got. But before I do, I just want to show you a few pickups I got. A couple of them you might consider as bargains as well. Now I picked up WCW versus the world from Music Magpie. Now this is in really good condition. This was £11 something. I'll put the price up there anyway, but fantastic condition as you can see. The disc was great, but unfortunately didn't have a manual. Now this is kind of like the precursor to um, WCW NWO Revenge and WWF No Mercy and, and uh, WrestleMania 2000 and those games. You can tell by the way it plays, but uh, a bit shallow. The gameplay is not as deep actually. It's been a very long time since I played this game, so I thought, well, why not pick it up? If you buy this at CEX, it's £24. So I thought £11, that's okay. And even if I don't like it, it's worth £14 trading at CEX. So I may well trade that in. Anyway, that was the first one. The next one was another wrestling game, WCW NWO Thunder. This was at World of Books. This was listed at £13. That was a 20% promo code going on. So I got it for £11 something. And then it was supposed to have the manual. But of course I got it. And it didn't. So I sent them an email and they refunded me 25% of the price. So I only paid £8 something for it too. It's actually very difficult. <coughs> Excuse me. It's actually very difficult to play without the manual as well. It's kind of like the precursor to the Smackdown games. But they try and incorporate that gameplay that was in WWF Warzone and WWF Attitude, which doesn't work because it's kind of like a fast, frenetic, arcade-style game, and they try and put in combo-related gameplay. It doesn't work, and the game suffers massively for it, and I've never played that until now, so probably won't be keeping that one either, to be honest. The other one was NASCAR 98, which I got off eBay for £10.50. Now, this is £12 at CEX, and this is in absolutely perfect condition. Oh, the disc has just come loose. But the book was perfect. The disc is in, in uh, great condition as well. So I think anytime I can get a game off eBay for cheaper than CEX, it's always worth, worth the punt, basically. And this one's in fantastic condition. So that's good. Now, on to the games that I ordered. Well, let's just get on with it and open them. Two of them are Saturn games. One of them is actually a PlayStation game. The first uh, PS1 game I've ever ordered from CEX online. Basically, I got refunded a load of money. Well, I say a load of money. It was 39 quid for some bottles of contact lens solution that I've had for ages. Apparently, there could potentially be a, a health hazard with them. So they had to go around refunding everybody that had gotten so the money that I got. Basically, I thought, oh, well, buy myself a few games. It's well packed. I'll give it that. Even though it was in one of the boxes I don't really like. Ah, uh -huh, yes. This one is Die Hard Trilogy. Oh, what? This is all, it's ripped on the back. It's ripped on the front. It's like someone's got a piece of sellotape and stuck it on. You can probably see it actually, and then pulled it off. That is irritating. Yeah, I can tell it's complete. It's got the manual and the disc is all right. This has actually gone down in price to eight pounds recently. So the disc is actually really good as well. It's just the box, which is a bit bit manky if I'm perfectly honest. I don't like having bits ripped and obviously a piece of sellotape going on there. That's a bit so-so. I'm not sure on that. Undecided whether I'll keep that or not. Next one, another one of these kinds of boxes. This one's not taped up like that one. It's just got this the thing across. Can't even remember what it was. Oh yeah, Worms. Oh, actually this copy of Worms is really good. Remember the last one I got, it was falling apart. It was disgusting. I can tell it's complete as well. That is cool. That's pretty good. The disc is actually really good as well. So I can't complain with that one. That is a win. Worms, that is a good one. Haven't really played any Worms games ever. And then the PS1 game came in a strange box like this. Really, really odd. I've never, ever had a box in a game in one of these boxes, to be honest. Hopefully it's not falling apart. Like I said, I've never bought a PS1 game. Oh, never bought a PS1 game online before. This is one of the games I think that went down in price recently and CX had a load of price changes too. So I thought, why not just use the rest of the money that I got refunded. It is Wipeout 2097. And that is actually in amazing condition. And I can tell it's got the manual because it's heavy. 
And it's got the right disc as well. There's been people complaining that they've had the wrong games in. So that is a win. Six pounds that was. So that's pretty cool. The disc looks like it's hardly ever been played as well. So there we go. Wipeout 2097. Now I bought that because um, I've never owned it actually. And I was thinking perhaps in the future doing some comparison videos of PlayStation games versus Saturn games. And this is obviously one that's on both. Plus, it'll be nice to give it a bash as well and compare it. I've got the original Wipeout, obviously, on the plate on the Saturn, and that's pretty tough to play. So this one's definitely, I remember it getting reviewed better, and they said it was a lot better. So that'll be good to play. That is it for today. There's my pickups. Anything interesting? Yeah, I think they're all right, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, anything you've got to say about them, let me know down below in the comments. And that is it for today. And I will be back, of course, with another Saturn review in the near future. Goodbye for now.